So Deborah, you'd worked out that this was dementia. How old firstly was Betty at this point and what did you do next? Betty was 74 when we got the diagnosis, but thinking about it afterwards, uh, she must have had signs of it for a good 10 years before that. It's funny because my dad was able to cover it up and I now realise with how, in hindsight how long he probably mm. had had worrying mm. symptoms, but he didn't confide in me at all mm. about it. But what, what did you, so you, you said, okay, this is dementia. How did you feel about that? Um, it just has been the most difficult thing that I've ever had to deal with, really. More difficult than um, job loss, heartache, or anything else. Um, because it just seemed, well, it's all going to be downhill now. And uh, I had not seen myself as being the one who was going to care for my mother in her old age. But there was no choice. I'm the only child, so uh, like it or not, suddenly I was in the role of carer. Um, so from my own point of view, it was very stressful. Um, and from her point of view, she was just in an awful, angry, anxious state, really. How did you find Speckle? I was um, really at my wit's end because I was getting all sorts of phone calls from her saying I haven't got any money, when are you coming to visit me, when I'd already just been to visit her all day long and she'd forgotten the visit. And, uh, and suddenly I was in the position of carer and having to deal with all these different agencies who were putting pressure on me to put her into care. And I knew she didn't want that, I didn't want that. I didn't know what I did want. I couldn't imagine her living with my family, but it was clear she was struggling living on her own. And somebody said to me, um, actually, there's an organisation that gives very practical help. And it's not about sentimentalising your mother's a sweet old lady, because, you know, uh, relations have always been a bit mm. tricky between us, but it's about very practical ways you can help. So I thought, well, I'll give it a go. Um, and I went on a course then.